It's not a, I mean, you look at the three-point game, wasn't really going good for either team besides you. You were the one who was able to kind of create that catalyst. What was going well for you from deep? I mean, just being off these past few games, I just wanted to come in and, and fit right into what the team was doing in my own way, and that's just the way for me. So, I mean, it just worked out tonight, and I'm just happy to do that for the team. You play this game with a lot of passion. You can see the energy up and down the floor and how you're putting 100% into every game. What inspires you to take that mentality all the time? I mean, just the love that I have for the team. I mean, we all want to win. And, I mean, yeah, I just want to win. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can say. Any more questions for Shanetta? Great, thanks. And then we'll begin with an opening statement from Coach, then open up to questions. Coach, whenever you're ready. Um, just really grateful for the win. Uh, just I want to, I think it's important to say I'm a huge fan of Haley Frank. I think she's a dynamite player. Um, I have a lot of respect for Coach and what she does. <clears throat> I know she has a young team, uh, but, you know, they do, they make it very difficult um, to, defend, to, de to defend them. And I was just really proud of our team. Two years ago, we came here and we did not allow them to make a three. And we wanted to recreate that again. And so our team was incredibly passionate about taking away the, taking away the three and uh, making them have to floor it. Uh, 17 points in the half, holding them to that. Beautiful basketball for a team that takes pride on the defensive end. Coach, you talk about that first half. Mm -hmm. What was the speech you gave to your team pregame to kind of get them fired up for this game? I don't know that we needed to get fired up. You know, like for us, we're we're on a mission. We knew tonight that if we would if we win, we would clinch a double bye, and that's that that's that's like the golden ticket, right, in SEC play. So, um, and Missouri just happened to be on the on the schedule next. So, uh, we we had really two good days of great practice. Uh, we were focused on trying to get stops uh, every possession. And I didn't have to really say much. Our team did most of, most of the talking. I know you talked about that double buy, not to look mm -hmm. ahead, but what is your message and kind of like that goal as you head towards Greenville? Well, uh, you know, now that, that we have that, we're still chasing. See, Ole Miss hadn't won 12 games in conference play, and that's history. So that's what we're chasing. And we have two more games, and, and it's going to be tough. This is our three-game week, but there's no excuses. Every team has it, and this is our turn. And we're going to get back and probably take tomorrow off and just use it for visual and mental prep and then get ready for an, uh, another tough opponent in Kentucky. What's been impressive about Mama Dembele? You know, so far mm. Mama, Mama has uh, improved so much from, I feel like I've watched these girls grow up. You know, like I really embraced her and Haley after the game just because, one, I'm happy that they're gone. <laughs> uh, just playing, playing. But I just really enjoyed watching them. You know, I'm a basketball fan first. And so, uh, the improvement that Mama had has been tremendous. She's embraced her. She's always been a defensive gnat, but now taking on the, the role of scoring, um, it just really, and, and that's what Missouri need, needs right now with a young team. I thought she um, has really stepped up into that role as a senior should. Coach, I know you talk about, like, how it means you kind of watch these girls growing up. Mm. How much, especially in the SEC, does that sisterhood mean to you? I mean, it means a lot. You know, the SEC is the only league where I don't know numbers. I know names. I know every single person that plays a lot of minutes, you know. And so in practice, I'll be like, when Haley gets the ball, you know, I'm not saying, what, what is her number? Uh, 43. I'm like, when 43, you know, so like, we know, we know these players. And, and the SEC, the Southeastern Conference has a certain sound, look, and feel, and rhythm to it. And uh, this is my sixth season. And I, I also remember coming in here and losing by 30, 40 points. You know, I'm not that far removed. So, you know, uh, I've been through the highs and lows of, of the conference and just glad to be in the position that we're in right now. 
questions for Coach? Great, thanks. Everybody. Thank you. This is the youngest media crew I've been around. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks, yep. everybody.